Hey guys, Lambo here. I want to help you get your mods working in game. So here's the first steps you need to do to make that start happening. Now this will vary based off of where you bought your game, if you bought it from their website, or I bought mine through Steam. Uh, so I would be going to my games, but you're basically trying to locate your saved game files and stuff for Farming Simulator 19. So mine are in here, I'll double click on Farming Simulator 19, and I need this, this log file. We're gonna take this and open it up. We're gonna open it up with, do I not get that option? Okay, there we go. Boom, edit with Notepad++, here it is. I'll zoom out, might be too small for you. But basically when the game starts up, this is a log file that gets recreated every time. And it basically has all your computer, I, that's what I'm, I'm cruising with right now. I got an i7 8750H at 2.2 gigahertz, but it'll go through all my memory and all my OS and stuff and making sure. And then you'll start to get down here where you see load mod. And we'll zoom in on there. You see load mod. So first I loaded the, uh, the, the Chevy Dually. And this is just the game recognizing that there's a zip folder inside of your mods folder. Uh, if you're curious what that is, leave a comment below and I'll make a video on it. Um, but here we have like the Cat 232, that's a skidster, a chainsaw I made, uh, a bunch of other mods I made, a jump ramp, bridge, different nets, and mo monster trucks. Um, but it's, it's loading them all. It's loading up the zip file. And this is how we start to figure out what's wrong with the mod is we start at the beginning of the load. And if it loads in and it says load mod, there's no warnings or errors, stuff like that, then you're good. So like right here, you see our very first warning, mod load, download fail. Because I'm on the ocean, I don't have internet. It's trying to reach into uh, mod hub and tell me what new mods. Next, we have an error, can't load resource, farming simulator, chainsaw. So it has to do with this mod, my chainsaw mod, and it's looking for the store DDS. That just means that in there it might be renamed different, but it'll tell me that something's wrong with that mod and that's how I fix it. Uh, that's not detrimental and you could still buy it in game, but some things are detrimental. We'll keep scrolling down and eventually you either run out of text, like here, here's a, a warning and error for giants in their map. Uh, nothing I can control there. And I'll keep scrolling down and like, I didn't have any errors in any of my mods that I've used, uh, but there would be an error here. And what I need you to do is copy that. Let's say this is says error, you know, and I need you to copy that and paste it in the video description below if you're having issues. Uh, this is the first step to figuring out how I can help you is I need you to know where your log text file is. This is gonna tell me, you know, really close what's wrong with your mod. Well, I hope that helps. I usually always keep this open in my uh, notepad plus plus even when I'm editing other stuff because every time the game starts up and closes it it goes through this whole process and it read it deletes everything from the time before you started up and then you can see it here application exit forced because I closed it thanks for watching guys make sure you hit that like and subscribe button welcome to the channel now I need you to take whatever error codes you get and copy and paste them in the description below or in any of my other videos saying you're having that error and I'll do my very best to figure out what that problem is and make a video for you. Thanks for watching guys.